Legend has it he was born in the mountains, raised with wolves, and schooled by life itself. In city after city, I studied the magnificent art of this true Renaissance man, but never once had I met the myth himself. When I finally did track him down to his hidden Victorian home and studio, he graciously agreed to let his craft be televised. My name, Blainwick Chipworth, the mad visual scientist, Lonnie hands on. Welcome to the fun house. Welcome to Lonnie's world. Hello, I'm Lonnie Hanson, and this is my world. We have a very exciting week filled with lots of projects. I'm going to introduce you to some strange material, some great tools. We're going to make some lampshades, chandelier, wall treatment, and uh, a few surprises. As you know, the studio has often sent tapes challenging us to do something incredibly wild or impossible artistically. It took forever to go through the thousands of viewer tapes that were sent in, we have found a particularly juicy one. Hi Lonnie, my name is Melissa and this is my design challenge for you. I would like to go to Mardi Gras this year. I'd like to go to Rio, Venice, even New Orleans. So I need a costume that will travel well, it's gonna fit in a suitcase, weigh 30 pounds or less, and I want it to be crazy cool. Thanks Lonnie, you rock. <laughs> So of course, you know we have to take the request and then go over the top. So this is how we're going to up the ante. Not only is the costume going to come out of the suitcase, the costume is going to be the suitcase. And the backpack that she takes to the airport will reverse into the full-blown Mardi Gras parade costume. Can you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Now, New Orleans has an umbrella for Venice. If she's going there, we're going to need a crown. And then if we go Rio, the point there is to do parade. Lonnie is the opposite of a surrealist. He's a, he's a hyper-realist. Everything is blown out of proportion. Uh, really huge, really big, really colorful. Lonnie's art is over the top. It's like being inside a pinball machine here. Hey, the artistas have arrived. Great to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are. So here's what we're going to do. I've taken a very large drawing and cut it into four pieces. So you will each get a large canvas. You then have one hour using these materials to paint that canvas, and then we will put the four pieces back together. And uh, given your very diverse styles, this should be very interesting. You ready? Yeah. 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 Hit it, boys. Hello, 
everyone, and welcome to the wide world of art. Today, what a challenge for artists from across the country gathered together under one roof to show their skill and technique to do something tremendous, something spectacular, something extravagant. And today, these four artists will put their art on the line for the Lonnie Hands-On Painting Challenge. some final magic in overtime as they try to tie all four together. As you know, in art, anything is possible, and these artists know more possibilities than Pooch Peng and the Xing Chow. What a fantastic piece. Look at it again from the beginning to the end. My, oh my, what a work from these wonderful artists. It's just a fantastic place to work in because everywhere you turn there's something new to see, something cool to, to look at. It's, it's fast and furious and uh, uh, unpredictable. I hear there's like going to be some hot chick coming down to try it on, so I'm pretty into that. I don't really care if it gets done. 